Welcome to the Data Craftsman's Guild. Today we're going to be talking about how we can create a new database and populate it with SQLite. The database that we're going to be working with today is called the Chinook database and it can be found online. First thing that we're going to want to do is create a folder and we're just going to call this SQLite database. We're going to go ahead and just put it over here in the corner. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull over this website that has the Chinook database that we're going to be using and downloading. So first thing that we're going to want to do once we come here is check out this SQL file. And we're going to want to save it in that folder that we uh, just talked about. Okay, so this basically is a script to create SQLite tables. Uh, many databases are uh, usually developed beforehand and then they are scripted in and data is generally filled in uh, afterward with insert statements. So we're going to go ahead and just grab everything with Control A and then Control C to copy it. We're going to open up a notepad file and then we're going to save this file. Got to find that folder that we created with SQLite database. We're going to name it chinook.sql. Okay. And go ahead and close that one and this page here. Take a look at what we have in here. So now we have the SQL file created and our next step is going to be to create the actual Chinook database uh, which we have not done yet. So let's go ahead and open our command prompt. We're going to want to change our directory copy and paste it in there and now we're working in our new directory so our next step will be to type SQLite 3 not 2, 3 and then you're going to go ahead and just type chinook.db okay we've created our database it is not showing up in our file yet but to do that, all we need to do is type databases, and it will add it in there. Great. Now, the next step is very simple. We have already have our SQL file that basically will read in, create all of our tables, and then it also is included to have the insert data that we want. So, the next step will be to say dot .read. Chinook.sql. And as I type that in, it's going to go ahead and start reading in the data into our new database that we just created. And this could take quite a little bit of time, so we'll come back to it after it's all finished up. Okay. The script should have finished running at this point, and now we can move on to looking at our new database with populated tables. The way that we're going to do that is graphically through SQLite Studio. Now if you don't have SQLite Studio installed on your Windows machine, you can go back to another one of our tutorial, vi tutorial videos where we go over how to do that installation. Uh, so do go ahead and do that if you want. Uh, that way you can follow along and kind of do this as we go here as well. So we're going to go ahead and open up SQLite Studio. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is add the database. So we're going to have to find the file. In this case, it looks like it popped right up. So we're good to go ahead and open that up there. And now we're going to go ahead and maybe just test the connection, make sure the database is good. Um, that way we don't waste time trying to open something that isn't going to work. 
Once you do that, you can click OK, and it should connect you to your database. Now, if you come over here, you can explore these tables a little bit and see kind of what columns are in them and different indexes that they might have. I want to go ahead and look at this artist table here. And the way I'm going to do that is just generate a query real quick. Uh, kind of nice feature that it will build the SQL query for you so you don't have to do it uh, manually. And then up here to run the script, we're going to just hit execute query. And you can also do that by hitting F9. Okay. So now we have our table with the artist ID and the name of the artist. Now, since this is a relational database, you would probably try to tie it into some of these other tables here to gain insights from. But that's kind of the gist of how you insert these tables into the SQLite database. So that will conclude our video for today. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do offer a whole bunch of tutorial videos as well as uh, practical videos for practicing data professionals. Okay, thanks and we'll see you there.